Have you ever pondered why we can't simply choose to forego sleep? If we truly possess free will, shouldn't we be able to make such a decision? A fascinating conundrum indeed. Today we dive deep into the concept of free will and the fundamental constraints imposed by our very own bodies. Free will is the ability to choose between different possible courses of action unimpeded. It's the power of acting without the constraint of necessity or fate. It's the ability to act at one's own discretion, yet here's a thought, is this discretion truly ours, or is it an illusion? The world of physics tells us that the universe operates on fundamental laws, laws from which everything else is derived. These laws are encapsulated in differential equations. Given an equation and the configuration of a system at a certain time, we can predict what happens at all other times. This is the deterministic view of the universe where everything follows a set path. But then, quantum mechanics enters the scene and introduces an element of randomness. Some events are inherently unpredictable. They're not just unknown, they're unknowable. This randomness is not due to lack of information, but a fundamental aspect of the universe. The amalgamation of determinism and quantum randomness suggests that our future is either determined or random. This realization leads to a profound conclusion. There's no room for free will. Our actions are either predetermined or random, none of which align with the concept of free will. Some people redefine free will to escape this conclusion, stating that no one can predict our future actions. Others interpret quantum randomness as a sign of free will. Yet these interpretations are more verbal gymnastics than scientifically grounded arguments. The future remains fixed with occasional random events. Denying reductionism, the belief that a complex system is nothing but the sum of its parts, is another common argument. Yet, countless experiments have shown that humans are made of particles, and these particles obey the laws of physics. Therefore, humans, as collections of particles, must also obey these laws. Any claim that humans follow different laws or no laws at all suggests that particle physics is wrong, which is a dubious proposition at best. In summary, the concept of free will, as conventionally understood, is incompatible with our understanding of the universe, the laws of physics, combined with quantum mechanics, suggest that our actions are either determined or random. Attempts to redefine free will or deny the validity of reductionism fail to provide a satisfactory explanation. The illusion of free will persists but the reality might be far more complex and intriguing. Perhaps the concept of free will needs a re-evaluation in light of our understanding of the universe. And as for sleep, it remains a necessity, regardless of our perceived freedom of choice.